So when I talk, to, there's, there's a couple videos that you can share with your guys. They're not in here. You, the links are in your uh, instructor stuff. We're not going to share it. But cross-contamination is one of those things that we have to think about. So we saw in that the research from the IFF where the, I talked about the cross-contamination was from docking as gloves, right? We saw that, that happen. So that's happened in our skin. We, we know that our hands are pretty dirty uh, when we come out, particularly if we take our gloves off and we're handling them because our gloves get really kind of grubby. So the way that we pull our gloves off could be important. Now, if we go to a med scene, medical scene, and we have our protection on, right? BSI, scene safety, right? We all know those terms. Uh, you have your gloves on, and you come back, maybe you get a spot of blood on your, uh, your glove. Are you, you coming out and just peeling them off and sticking them in your pocket or grabbing them and yanking them off when you go out? Do you do that? Probably not, right? Well, why not? Why would you do it? Cross contaminate, right? So, is it any different when you come out and you have polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons embedded in your hand? Are you gonna yank them off with your fingers or pull them off and hold on to them, stick them, and eat something? Probably shouldn't, right? So, the IFS, uh, the Illinois Spice Service uh, Institute, did a really nice job about talking about cross contamination for both our gloves and our hoods. Um, to try to alleviate that. So just basic info for you guys, because you can watch the videos, they're, they're, they're good. If I come out of a fire, I pop my helmet off, what do I do with my hood? Pull it down, right? Now it's on my neck. What part is on my neck? The outside, the, the, the dirtiest part is now sitting there, right? It's rubbing off, and we can see it in this picture. It's rubbing off on us. So how about we take, and we grab the hood from the back, pull it over our mask, and then pop everything off at once. Do we need to have the hood pulled down around our neck? We probably don't, right? And who does hood exchanges? Is anyone doing a hood exchange? Now, so I've always wanted this, and you guys can help me. Do you exchange the hood at that point <coughs> after, or do you exchange it prior to them going back to the firehouse? So they come out of the fire, and their hood's dirty. Do you exchange it right then? You do. I tell you. Do it back at the firehouse. Yeah, at the firehouse. Okay. So there's a bunch of different ways, but I think I think right at the scene when you're changing, like you put a clean hood on. If you have enough, you know, why not? Uh, anyone using particulate blocking hoods? Because they are out there. Yes, yes, yes. Good. They they are out there and you know, from the stuff I read, they seem to work fairly well. Right? They look like they're making a difference. Alright, so cross contamination is something that we probably should pay attention to and try to you know, make some changes to. 